Hey everyone, David here from Minus Factory and in today's episode I'm gonna keep I'm gonna tell you how to get Xbox Live that too for free on your Xbox 360 or your Xbox One. Well it does not matter, but you can actually see that this is my Xbox 360 over here. And I don't get account nor privacy. But you will just see those both. You just see those both um exactly those both uh, buttons online and uh, you will just be going so we are gonna go to storage well this is my this uh, well this one which you can see over here that is my xbox storage device it's actually the system storage so i cannot use it i'm just gonna rename it you rename it as system storage Whoa. Um, like this um, well, I'm gonna rename it as System Storage. System Storage. So we don't use that. I cannot use that uh, because it's on the Xbox System Storage. And because of that reason, done. Now you can see that I have another one named as Xbox Games. I don't know why this is completely used. Um. Just wait a second. So just gonna delete this thing. Now this is my USB stick as you can see over here. It's named as Xbox Games. Well, I'm gonna delete all the uh, I'm gonna delete all the content catch. Uh, so this is my Xbox. Uh, I mean my USB stick over here. That you can see this one. I'm just gonna remove it. One second. It says that a required storage device has been removed. So you can see that this is my storage device. Sorry for that. This one. I'm just going to plug it back in. Just wait for a second. I'll just be back. You can see that this one is my Xbox games. And uh, this is my USB stick that I just showed just now. Well, it just said that the required storage device has been removed, so I'm just going to move back. You need that USB stick, but if you have an Xbox One that is something like one terabyte or two terabytes, then you don't need that USB stick. So now uh, we're just going to. So now all you need for this is an Ethernet cable. Well, it's not a telephone cable. I'm just going to move back. Xbox Home. I'm going to move back. It's not a telephone cable. It's a Ethernet cable, a router cable. You can say it will look something like it looks something like this. You at least need this long. It's one meter long, so at least need that much. And so we're just gonna connect it. Back of the Xbox 360, you can see that there are all ports. This is the Ethernet one. This one. You, uh, this is a USB, but don't plug in your USB over here. If you have to plug in a USB, you should probably plug in at the front. Plug in at the front. Over. What the heck is the camera man? Okay, you need to plug it at the front over here. So you can see that you need to plug in over this. This is my HDMI cable that connects to the TV and power cable over here. The power cable. During this process, you actually need to switch off the Xbox. So now the Xbox is off, as you can see. Um, you just take this Ethernet cable from here. Let me just capture properly and you can see this part that opens from here and you can see that there's a little bit of expansion over here so you just put it according to that it's really hard i mean it's not hard but to look at the camera at the same time and then to plug it in with one hand so okay so i did that part you can see that there is a other line of the cable where the heck is the camera okay the other line of the cable over here you need to do that same for the router okay so i'm back again you can see that that's all the electric sockets um over here this is my router you can easily see now at the back of the router let me just leave the ethernet cable for a sec you can see that this is the ethernet cable that is connected to your that's connected to your i mean to the main router cable at the back of your house it may be connected over there but you can see that there are extra four slots over here you, you need to connect that to that but don't connect it to the fourth slot or something like that uh 
it may cause a problem what the heck is happening oh okay fine well as you can see now i've just connected it and it's connected to the first slot uh you may not be able to see it but they actually slot numbers one two three four it's a little bit blurry so i connected it to the first slot over there let me fix it in place properly and even that in place over there so we can move back to xbox now just load in you can see that my xbox uh, profile is just over there just over here but still i i need to log in oh sorry my controller is not even con uh, my controller is not connected i'm not connected okay so we're just gonna not log in so that i can just like actually bing does not come because if you don't have internet bing does not come that's for sure but before you have xbox live it will ask you to do update i don't know if it will ask you to do update on the xbox one let me just put it properly i don't think it will ask to update on xbox one but on xbox 360 for me it asks to update you need to go to system console settings um console uh, sorry system uh xbox uh network settings wired connection let me move okay test xbox live connection now once you test it it will actually test your xbox 360 let it test so so it said that it's connected over here then it's not testing the internet it takes some time um it takes a little bit of time to test that so once it says so so now it says connected now at this stage internet and xbox 360 it took some time for me then it said that i need to do an update for me it was connected because i've done the update but it said that i need to do an update so i just did the update and everything is really convenient now so uh see it said that i can join xbox live connection configuration may limit your ability blah 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 so um um wait a second let me go back back okay so now everything is good it says that it's up nothing is done that's good we need to go back wait a second ah uh, okay now it's good so once you go back over here all you need to do is uh, go to just press your xbox thing over here like this and this screen will die and this screen will come up it's just sign in for me because i have already created my profile but uh, you need to download your profile i need to create your profile now if you don't have a ma but if you don't have a microsoft if you don't have a microsoft account you i'm sorry you need a microsoft account you need to create it at uh, outlook.com you just need to type in your browser you can't type it in your xbox type in your browser uh, just click on uh, create a new account just create a new account and that's good for you but if you don't but uh, that's it but then you're going to create your profile like this you need to uh, you need to select which uh, which uh, storage device you want then it will ask you for a microsoft account your microsoft password it will ask you which gamer tag you want and it will ask for your name so you just need to log in your microsoft uh, out, I mean, sorry, your Outlook email and uh, your Outlook email and password. That's it. But if you already have a profile that you have created, just click on download profile. I don't mean like uh, many of the people they get confused by uh, by a profile, by a profile and the other thing. Like what the thing is that what the thing is that you need to create an Xbox Live profile. You don't need to create just an Xbox profile, or offline profile. So that's what you get confused of. If you have, or if you already have Xbox Live profile, click on download, um, download profile. Then you enter your email and ID, and that's it. But I already have downloaded my profile because I had it behind, and this is my profile as you can see. I'm gonna sign in, and that's all you have to do. And see, it says that I'm signed in. And you can see how much has come. I have all of these things. You could see that before I do not even have this. And I had all of these things. See, even I said that account and privacy won't be there, but now it's there. 
you also have privacy but you need to go to privacy change settings customize and you customize like if you want voice or text friends only just uh, just read what it shows over here and then just decide whether you want it for everyone friends only or you want it blocked well i did uh, this block i did these uh, I did this blog so uh, as you can see that's all I've done and so uh, thank you and so that's all you have to do for this thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe